go. Hi, my name is Melissa. I um, write a blog called My Whole Food Life, and this is my second ever attempt at a video. And I thought I'd have my daughter Meadow help me out. So we're going to make um, overnight oats, which are awesome oats, like the easiest breakfast you could ever make. All you do is throw everything in a jar and just stick it in the fridge, and the next morning it'll be done. So since it's fall, I thought I would do a pumpkin pie overnight oats. So what you do is you can use either steel cut oats or rolled oats. I use steel cut because I like the crunch. And we'll just put them in there. So this is two quarter cups or a half cup oats. Okay, let's do this one, Meta. You want to do this okay. one? Help me do this one. All right, I'm going to start off with two. But we usually make like five at a time. Okay, so we put in our oats. And now I'm going to put in two tablespoons of pumpkin, which I have sitting here. So we go one, or actually I'll probably just do one tablespoon. That might be just enough. All right. You take a yellow one. Yes, I know my finger's dirty. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Let's put some spices. What do you think? Yeah, put it. Well, so first we'll put, actually we'll put flax in here first. Yeah, I did it. Yep, yeah, put it in. It's good, healthy stuff, full of healthy fats. So, I also put in chia seeds, but I see they're not set out for me, so I'll just leave them out of this recipe, but I usually put in one teaspoon chia seeds as well. So now we're gonna get cinnamon. It's always easy to buy your spices in bulk, way cheaper than buying them in the jar, so that's what we do, and that's why this, they're in this bag here. So we're gonna take a half a teaspoon cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah, put it in there. You like cinnamon, huh? Yeah. You like the way it smells? Yeah. Can I poke it? Yummy? Mm, yummy, yummy. All right, put that one in. There you go. We into the bowl. That's what Meadow likes to say. Me and then we're going to take some nutmeg, and we're going to do just like a quarter teaspoon nutmeg. Put that in there. Nutmeg. Mm-hmm. Here, put in another one. The other one. And just a quarter fresh. teaspoon cloves, maybe more of like an eighth of a teaspoon because they're kind of strong. Put those in there. Toe. You want to put that one in? There you go. That was healthy. Good job, okay. You can smell that one too. Mm, and then a quarter teaspoon ginger as well. I find when you heavily spice things up, they actually seem like they're sweeter than they, you know, without even adding sugar, which is a really neat trick. We'll put a little bit of ginger in there. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. And now to sweeten them, you could either use maple syrup or honey or chopped dates. I like to use the dates because they get really soft overnight and it's like you get a, in every other bite of oatmeal, you get this awesome like caramelly taste. So you want to put some, here you put these in the out jar. And oh, okay, okay, you can do that one too. And I'm going to put these in here. And then, no, not yet. The last thing we do is we put the milk in and then we stir it really well. So you can put anywhere from a half cup milk to, um, I mean, anywhere from a half cup to a cup, depending on how thick or thin you like your oatmeal. I personally like it on the thicker side, so I use about a half a cup. And I'm not really going to measure it, but I usually just eyeball it. But if you need to use a measurement, you could do one half to a full cup. And then we just, whoops, here, I'm going to stir this one in. You can stir the other one. Okay, you can use that spoon. I like to use these mason jars because you can just reuse them over again. They're the perfect size. Um, you can get them on Amazon or I get them at Target too. So, And they're great for everything, even like dressings and sauces, anything you want to put in them. They're just awesome. So we let this sit overnight and hopefully it has like a awesome pumpkin pie flavor in the morning. So I hope you enjoy the recipes and I will say bye now.